show different from his other shows? Or? Are you interviewing me now? Yes. Well, this I is so cool. Wow. Um, yeah. oh, my b favorite Bill. Okay, I can tell you this. So there was a moment where he asked the crowd, do you want, do you want to hear Down East or Alexa, or do you want to hear All for Lena? So my friend Jim and I are saying, Lena, Lena. And it got overruled. Yeah, right? Yeah. That whole drum band. Boom, doom, doom, boom, doom, boom, doom, boom, doom. Right? Oh, my God. I love it. And could you imagine hearing Lena? Yeah. I mean. I imagine he probably did both. He didn't. Really? Which broke my heart, I, I have to I, say. He's drawing a hard broke line. Broke my heart. He's great. <laughs> you got us? Okay, great. Okay. Yeah, and you're rolling? Okay. Garth Brooks, oh, such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Um, we've already talked about the two of us being huge Billy Joel yes, fans. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I proved it by telling you when his birthday was. Yes. Right? So, yes. so you know that's, that's the truth. Amen. Okay. And there's a lot of things that I really want to know about you, but I don't have much time. Okay. But we talked about Shameless. Yes. Why did you pick that song? Uh, I think it picked me. Uh, it was one of those things where it was back in the day where... 10 CDs for a dime kind of thing and people would sign you up for it your friends would oh. and then you'd be out on tour for three months come back hear records right one of them was Stormfront played it fell in love with it but there was a song called Shameless that you just go oh my god really and to this day Billy Joel's version is still my favorite version of Shameless you picked that right off the album didn't you he did and I did too. You see what I mean? When I heard that album, that was the first thing. So when you did it, I was like, yes. Yeah, it, 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 and, and it was crazy because our people were keeping up with their people going, hey, look, tell us if it's going to be a single. And they said, at this point, we don't think it's going to be. So we went ahead and recorded it and still had to wait. And then we found out it wasn't a single. We went ahead and released it uh, for one of our singles. And a scary moment because bringing that music into country music at that time, you know, was not probably uh, something that anybody else had done. And so, but... Man, the song kind of speaks for itself. Yeah, it does. It does. It's beautiful. I want to know a little bit about Garth because you are so, you're all heart. I can see it. I can see it in your eyes. I could see it when you were talking with all of us before. Tell me a little bit about, tell me about Baby K. Uh, baby K is nothing but joy. Uh, anytime that a, a baby has a baby, you're worried about what the effects that's going to have. And then it always turns out that that baby is the glue that holds the whole family together. Mm -hmm. So she's the little she's the little stem that kind of holds the whole family together. And uh, kind of new for us. How old is she now? She's going to be three in July. Wow. And she's a doll. And her mama might be the best mama I've ever seen. No offense to my mom or Miss Sherwood's mom or Sandy's mom. I'm not sure any of them can hold a candle to, to my daughter. She, I think she was made to be a mom. God bless her. That's awesome. I, I can't even tell you what an honor it is to meet you, to hug you, and to just share this moment with you. Thank, Thank you, Garth. Thank you so much. This is going to be fun. It's going to be fun.